Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I'm so happy that you decided to pop in. Today, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and film a Q&A just because I am new to this whole YouTube space and I just thought it'd be fun for y'all to get to know me a little bit and who I am. And so I asked you guys questions on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Caitlin Gratton. If you want to go ahead and follow me over there and that's where I'll be asking questions for these types of videos in the future and we can chat and I can get to know you and I would love to do that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the questions. So the first question I got is what is your major in college? And my major is integrated strategic communications, which sounds a little complicated. It's really not. It's basically, basically creative marketing. And so I do a lot with Photoshop and design and layouts and it's so fun. I absolutely love it. And then my minor is digital media and design. So I do a lot of stuff with photography and art and it's super cool, but I actually did not have that major coming into college. I thought I was going to do something completely different. Um, I came in as a broadcast journalism major and wanted to be a sports broadcaster. So obviously I did a 360 from that and I'm doing something completely different. So I'd love to make a video about that and kind of why I decided to change and all that. So if you want me to do that, let me know. What is your favorite song or artist? I absolutely love music, so this would be a difficult one to answer, but I love country music. My favorite of all time is Dan and Shay. I listen to them all the time. They're my absolute favorite, but also I love worship music, and so my favorite, one of my favorite worship artists is Lauren Daigle. I absolutely love her and listen to her all the time, and she's awesome. I love to jam out to her in my car on my drives to and from college. She's just the absolute best, and I love her. So what is your dream job? And I love this question, but I also hate this question because I have about a hundred dream jobs. Um, this is something that I've kind of struggled with and I would love to talk about in the future because I kind of struggle with knowing exactly what I want to do because I want to do so many different things. Ultimately, what I want to do in the world is just love people the best I can and do that in whatever space I can. So I don't really know. I absolutely love fashion. That's one of my big, big things. And so I would love to one day own my own store or have an online clothing boutique. That's one of my main goals. But I also love home and lifestyle stuff. And so I'd love to like flip houses or do anything in the creative industries. I absolutely love. And then I also am super interested in working for a church and going into ministry for a little bit, or I don't know. That's just kind of something that I'm leaving up to Jesus and we'll see, but I have a zillion dream jobs. But the one that's at the forefront of my brain is I really would love to have my store. That's what I would really love to do right now, I think. <laughs> but um, the next question is, what do you love about UK? So I actually didn't want to go to UK at first. I wanted to go further south to a bigger SEC school originally, but when I came to UK, it just felt like home to me. And I think that's still why I love it. Everyone here is just so, so kind. And for me, it's a great distance from my hometown. I'm from Louisville or right outside of Louisville. So it's a really good distance for me from Lexington so I can go back and forth and see my family because they are so important to me. And so I do like to see them ever so often. And yeah, I'm pretty close to my mom and dad and my brother and sister-in-law and my dog, which is good. But I also um, feel like I'm away at college, not in my hometown, which I love. And then the next question, I thought this question was really good. And it's how do you prioritize time with Jesus in your day? And this is something that I think is super hard for so many people and super hard for me. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm perfect with this all the time because I am definitely not perfect with this. But I think for me, the easiest way to pri prioritize that time is to do it right when I wake up in the morning. So ideally, I like to get up and I do check my phone. I need to get better at that and not checking my phone first thing, but check my phone, go downstairs, make a cup of coffee and come upstairs and just open my Bible. And I think that is what keeps me on track the most. And I just try to do that first thing for me. Whatever I do first, I'm a morning person. So whatever I do first, um, it really does set the rest of my day and I can tell a big difference when I have my Jesus time in the morning and sometimes if I don't do it I'll get to the middle of my day and I'll feel weird or angry or whatever and I'm like you know what Caitlin you didn't have your time with Jesus this morning you need to go have it and so I think that that is something that's super helpful for me is to just do it right in the morning 
and yeah, it just sets me up to be a better friend, a better daughter, and yeah, I love to do it in the morning. That really helps me. And then next question is, are you in a sorority? And I am in a sorority. I'm an Alpha Delta Pi here at UK, and it's awesome. It's so much fun. I completely couldn't imagine my college experience without being in a sorority, and I'm so grateful that I've had such a good experience. And I would love to make videos if you have questions about that in the future, about sorority life or how to be in a sorority and how that looks with your faith. I would love to make some videos about that because I know a lot of people ask me about that. And so I would love to talk about that in the future. And then what are your friends like is the next question. My friends are absolutely awesome. I actually live in a house with nine girls, which is crazy. And so those are my best friends and they're honestly great. It's so encouraging and it's so fun to live with that many girls. And yeah, they're the best. I love them. So if they're watching, love you guys. You are awesome. But the next question is, how is your quarantine going? And my quarantine is going good, as good as it can. I feel like it's such a weird time and everyone's kind of at a different spot with all of it, but it's going good for the most part. I started off my quarantine at home with my family. And so I was there for a while and I just decided to come back to Lexington and live in my house here with a couple of my roommates. And we are just chilling here now. I work a lot better in Lexington. And so I'm glad to be here and it's going good. Just doing lots of school, trying to finish out the semester strong. I think I'm just trying to stay safe and healthy and yeah, it's going good. So how is y'all's quarantine going? Leave that down below because I know that it's kind of crazy. And if you have any tips, let me know. And I would love to do that. So any fun activities, shows to watch, anything like that. I would love your recommendations. But next is who are your biggest inspirations? And I think this is a hard question for me because I have so many different inspirations for different parts of my life. My main inspiration in life is just my mom. She's awesome. She is such a Jesus girl and just walks through that every single day. So she's my number one inspiration is my mom and also my grandma. They have just been the biggest people who have transformed me and just been the best role models in my life. And so I love them. As far as like the YouTube and social media world goes, I watch have watched YouTube for so long, probably since I was like 12 years old. And so I have so many girls who have truly inspired me and made me want to make these videos and kind of pushed me to do that. So I'm going to maybe name like my top four maybe, but my number one is Christian Johns. I've always loved her and she just makes home and faith and lifestyle videos and she's just awesome. I love her sweet spirit and she always inspires me. And then another one that I love is Tori Masters. I found her recently and she is so sweet. I've talked to her on Instagram and she is just the best soul and she makes great videos about faith and kind of what that looks like. And so faith wise, she is a big, big inspiration to me. And I absolutely love that gal. And then also I love Michelle Reed. She just graduated from college and she's about to get married actually. So she's so fun to watch to kind of go through that. And she also has a lot of cool budgeting videos and just a fun lifestyle and vlog. So I love to watch her. And then the last one I'm going to mention, I could talk for like seven years, but also I'll leave all these down below. And so go check out their channels, let them know I sent you and just give them some love because all these ladies are so awesome. But also Allison Bickerstaff, I love her. She works for Disney and also is a YouTuber full time. And so she's a super cool life. She's married to her sweet husband and always just makes fun videos about lifestyle and work and how to balance all of that. And she is an awesome role model of mine too and a huge inspiration. So like I said, I will link all of their channels down below. Go and check them out because they are awesome. And I think if you enjoy watching my videos, you'll love watching their videos too. And then the last question I'm going to talk about is what is your favorite Bible verse? And I have a zillion Bible verses that I love and I swear I live by, but um, I think my favorite one right now is Esther 414. And one of my best friends, Ashby Lee, actually put this in a card for me and that's kind of why I even, this verse stuck out to me in the first place. But the verse says, perhaps you were born for such a time as this. And that is just something that is so sweet. And that's something that I wanna leave y'all with because this time is crazy, but we can also come out of this time doing so many amazing things. And so I wanna inspire y'all to kind of take that verse and run with it. And yeah, so 
that is all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Gratton and we can chat on there. I'm super active on there every single day on stories and I'm always checking my DMs. So if you ever have any questions or want advice or anything, I would love to get to know you and your heart and your stories. So make sure to chat with me on there. But besides that, that's all I have today. I'm so, so excited to continue to make videos in the future. So if you have any video suggestions, leave them down below. But besides that, I hope y'all have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon.